KOs. I mean, it's ridiculous. The Lumpini champion, Juno middleweight, and the K1 Max 2004 winner. So, a lot at stake here for Marco Piquet. He's a skilled fighter, but up against Boacau, well, he's going to need to be good. He's got the height and reach, and he can certainly bang him in. That straight left, well, it's like a steam piston on the flying Scotsman, and he knows how to work it, but Paul Pramuk, tough. Good left-right combination. He reaches in over the top. Paul Pramuk needs to uh, have a care. And PK very focused. Remy Boniaski in attendance tonight. As is my chum Fred Royers from the Netherlands. from both fighters they're just uh, having a little feel of each other nice tight guard from both fighters but PK doing the work here in the first testing the defenses of Wackow and uh, working very nicely there nice low kick inside thigh but he still looks so relaxed and in so much control doesn't he poor Paramount He doesn't want to become overzealous, Marco PK, because uh, if he slips up, Workout will find a home for a with bells on shot. having a moment here for Pramuk acknowledging he's very focused is the Dutch lad well he's having it his own way is Pico But with a five-rounder, the ties start very slowly. He's got a temper on him, actually, as Boakar Paul Pramuk. And uh, PK just acknowledged at the end of the first round there that he'd had a good round. And he's starting to dish out punishment. But you'll see Boakar, there'll be a point at which he'll go, well, actually, I've had enough of this. of knee strike there PK well he's kept it tight thus far and this has been a good opening round for PK oh very good uppercut with the left first round I would give to PK got a nice even pace about it combination there P 
DK is working those hands well. The uppercuts are really top tasty shot and he's using it well. It's coming right up between Wakao's guard. Work out. He started to up his workload, and you can see he's starting to get through the range of PK and uh, putting PK under a bit of pressure now. And one thing PK needs to do is keep his composure because Paul Pramuk now starting to rev up, and uh, he's given the Dutchman one and a half rounds, but. Uh, well, the assassin from Lumpini, you give him an inch and he'll take two miles. And he's starting to put PK under all kinds of pressure. It's uh, gone up to another level. And look at Paul Pramuk, the speed of the boy, but replied very nicely with a great combination by PK. And... Uh, I was, I was mentioning full tie rules earlier and you can see all's fair in love and war and of course this isn't K1 so this is going to score the throw and uh, PK complaining and something wrong with his eyes a quick second for a breather an instruction to Marco Piquet the referee kind enough to let him have that little rest but I was talking about full tie rules and as I said uh, great bout coming up at the NEC beginning of May Liam Harrison goes in against Mustafa Ziani Richard Cadden against Michael Showers Reese Crooks on that bill as well, injury dependent. So that particular fight card will be bringing you here on Fight Club later on during the year. But uh, Pain and Glory, of course, part of the Seni Expo at the NEC. And uh, what's not happening there is not worth knowing. www.senishow.co. I say .co.com. Um, Senishow.com, log on. Loads of stuff there. BJJ, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu seminar. The Gracies there. Karate demonstrations, Thai demonstrations, you name it. It's all going on. Two day event at the NEC, Birmingham. Of course, the promoters of that are Fighters Inc. And uh, sponsorship from tiger beer and talking about a Thai tiger just look at Paul Pramuk work the low kick now he's really taking control here and uh, Marco PK in that first round and the beginning of the second you really got the sense that you know he was driving and in control but Paul Pramuk now well it's just gone to another level and PK is hanging on to a tiger by its tail Wakao Paul Pramuk, of course, the winner of the K1 Max 2004 and uh, runner-up finalist at 2005. And just look at the boy. He's loving it. And Marco Piquet needs to get those hands up around his temples because I can see a knockdown kick coming for, from Paul Pramuk and he's chopping away working the low section so round four Waka Paul Pramuk in the blue Marco Piquet of the Netherlands in the red 
Holland versus Thailand. This event coming from the Sport Hall. Stiedenvik, Almere in the Netherlands. And it's the slam event, and that's just what's happening to Marco Piquet as he is being systematically taken apart by the Lumpini assassin, Wakapur Pramuk. And Pramuk now starting to bring up the high kick more confidence that front teeth goes straight through the guard we see a high kick go up this is full tie rules and Buakau is going to feel just at home here doing clinch throws sweeps it's full MT rules and interestingly enough distinct lack of elbows I've seen during this tournament and I don't know whether that's because the fighters are confused as to whether or not the full el elbow strike is allowed under modified European rules but but this is full empty rules nice tickle with the knee there from PK he's still very much in this but uh, the dominance of Boakau just at another level and uh, the strength the tenacity of Boakau beginning to show Marco Piquet blowing hard now and you can see where the superiority lays here tonight and he's a class act workout lots of Thai fighters with big old Thai records come here and actually European Thai fighters for my money dominate you know and uh, you know just because a, a Thai fighter has a big fight record when they come to Europe and they come up against the likes of Pete Crook Ole Bajo Lawson to name but a few of the top MT fighters on the circuit and of course ripping it up gnarly style Liam Harrison Liam Harrison from the bad company Jim up in Leeds Hello. goes up against Satori Vasikova the All Japan champion Andy Housen Liam Harrison's in there again Jordan Watson uh, nice card on that fight actually 17th of June Leeds Town Hall bad company Jim and Liam Harrison, of course, featuring on that Pain and Glory card. Well, it's the last round, the fifth and final. And uh, Marco Piquet, the sniper from Amsterdam, has had his work cut out here tonight. It's a brave effort. But uh, Wakapur Pramuk just exuding confidence and casually showing his dominance and Marco Piquet good effort really but I think you've got to remember that he's fighting the number one arguably in the world and uh, it's all been just well in the case of Piquet a bridge over a canal too far PK keeps coming, but Wakao is better. He's shown great evasive skills. Stay quick and light, and look at the sheer power and strength that uh, Wakao has at his disposal. Marco PK, looking very much a spent force, rushes to the task, but. Uh, Really, I think uh, Boakau being gracious at this stage in not taking out PK in front of what is very much a home crowd. And uh, 
I think it's a lot of grace actually in allowing the fighter to finish because I think Paul Pramuk has it within the armory there to stop this and uh, Marco Pico almost out on his feet just going through the motions just over half a minute left to go now and it has to be said if it wasn't for the presence of a fighter of the class of workout well not a lot of icing on the cake for a spectator here good effort but uh, whack out certainly letting him off the hook well, that's it <laughs> let's wait for the decision yeah you know it wasn't going to be a surprise but uh, I always like to wait and see and the payment, Vincent,